to be like to the C minor, F minor. Oh, that's what I was saying. <laughs>
thank you for joining me, sugar. Sugar, say hi. Say hi to the people. Hello. Hello. I am sugar and I am a princess. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna release her back into the wild. Hello, chat. Aw, wait, let me read that. Wow, what a lovely place. Thank you, Yafu. Dilexid, hi. Sammy, hello. What's the dog doing? I don't know, I don't think she liked. I don't think she liked the last chord progression. So she was getting nervous. I don't know. <laughs> Sammy, I scare later I sleep during wor work. You can meditate during work. Miramosa, hi, welcome. This is like doing a morning meditation, absolutely. And it's working for me. Thanks for the peaceful music. Oh, thank you for listening. <laughs> yeah, food, keep practicing. Every day is a practice. Every day is a damn practice. I'm basically showing you my practice. This is what I do. Play some jazz. I'll do my best. Hmm, 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 hmm. Can I remember the chords?
And even if I do, I can't really read it. To, to play some jazz, just add the seventh. <laughs> I know. Seventh and ninth. Slap thirteenth and slap five. I don't know. My theory is like, I usually just play by ear. Like I, I did classical until I was 12 or something. And then I got really bored because like, there were tests and stuff, and I didn't like practicing. I just wanted to play whatever the heck I wanted to play. So I uh, transcribed like an Uta da Hikaru song called Passion that she sang for, for a Kingdom of Hearts. And then I realized, oh, I could just play whatever song if I figure out the chord progressions. And then I started doing jazz lessons at home. Some jazz theories, but I, I cannot read like the notes for my left hand that's why I was like no it's true classical music I'm just not gonna try and I'm gonna read the alphabets in jazz sheet music because it's like ABC <laughs> and here I am yeah.
All you musicians should try to play the song. Start streaming music. Yeah, do it. You should do it. I would definitely watch. I think that's it for today. I'll see you later in my Genshin stream. Thank you for listening. This was fun. Dialect said you should stream it.
<laughs> just keep drawing just have fun with drawing like I'm not taking my music so seriously like I know Dialexit is probably a better trained musician than I am but still here I am playing music for my plants and my dog and meditating Miramosa just try meditating with it see what comes out see what comes out drew something today let me show you so this is my gratitude journal and the prompt is to like it's a vision board so you just imagine what you want to be for 2020 and just draw that and this is what i drew i was just feeling like i want to keep shining you know it doesn't make any sense and it's it's absolutely like a kind of drawing that I never did before. I don't usually do this because I'm like I have a degree in architecture so I usually just draw like buildings and shit or spaces, perspectives, you know, people, etc. But then I just wanted to like draw how I feel. <laughs> and I'm like I look at it and I think, "Wow, I've come a long way." from being a perfectionist OCD designer so I'm drawing other things and enjoying it and like don't judge yourself when you draw just just flow see what happens how about you set your goal to make a bad drawing and see what happens I like to do that because if I'm being too perfectionistic about my work or my craft or any kind of art then I already fail at the beginning because it's not that's not the point the point is that you have fun just like I did it's not perfect I still need to practice but I'm like just following my heart and playing whatever I want to play and if my dog doesn't like it she barks and I'm like okay thank you for the feedback I'm just gonna play a different chord progression Cheers, drink lots of water. I hope to see y'all create freely and fearlessly and just have fun. I should go eat something. I haven't eaten anything. It's like 5 p.m. See you later in my Genshin stream. I want to design my teapot today. I started yesterday and I feel good about it. So, yeah. Cheers. Post it, please. I want to see it. Do you do tarot reading too? Yes. Is it... Can you redeem it? <laughs> I'm streaming on my phone for the first time, so I don't know what it looks like on your end. Sometimes some symbols only make sense to oneself, absolutely. And when I draw, it's like I'm allowing my subconscious mind, which I don't judge. I just flow. I just like become that kid within me and just let her come out and play. So the symbols absolutely resonate with me on a deeper level, but I don't have to know what it means. I just want to draw it. It's been a whole ass journey of following what feels right instead of what I think should be, what I think other people would want to see. I just don't like feeling the slow progress. Me too. And sometimes I judge myself for like being not ready to create or doing other things. But I think it's just a process of getting ready to be creative. So if you're slow, appreciate it. Your mind is probably coming up with some ideas or it's just waiting to be inspired. Oh, damn. Oh, you want to do tarot now? Okay, let me go get my cards. I'm behind. <laughs> I feel quite spiritual since yesterday evening. I don't know why, and I'm introspecting. Okay. Let me go get my cards and see how I can fix this so it can be a tarot-friendly space. One second. They're like... 
watering plants in the background so it might be a bit noisy but i hope it's not too bad be right back all right should we do a general reading for you the the car magician has been coming up for every time i cut the deck since yesterday's reading since my own reading the car magician has been coming up card number one so think about what you're already doing right how you're being absolutely magical maybe it's a link adjoining us card magician you know what i can do i can put the chat here Sammy, what's up? We're doing Miramosa's reading on my keyboard. That's something I haven't done before. Hmm. <laughs> Still there. Magician, still there. Three cards for Miramosa. Thank you for joining me, you guys. Oh, you know what? I should charge my phone first, get some energy so that I make sure my phone doesn't go off. Energy. Energy is the new currency, y'all. We don't need money. We just need energy. Money is fun, earthly coupons. Think about it. It's just fun. Money is just paper. Yeah. It's powerful paper. Don't let paper control your life. You're powerful creators. You make the paper. You know one thing that like stopped me from doing this in the beginning was I didn't know how I was going to stream my music live. I thought I had to use softwares and like uh, an audio, uh, whatchamacallit, you know, like the focus right thing. I thought it was going to be complicated, but I figured out. I figured out that I could just hook it up to the speaker and just not care so much about the audio quality. It was a good setup. The audio was fine too. Really? It was like listening to live music. Perfect. <gasps> Thank you so much. Yeah, but I was worried about how I'm going to do this. And turns out I could just <laughs> figure out my setup while I'm live. Okay, 9%, it's fine. We can do this, we can do this. Maybe that's all we need for Mira Moses reading. Maybe you get the best message for Mira Moses. I'm not gonna take those. I'm just using my phone audio. Is it really that great? I'm surprised. <laughs> I had no idea I was going to be doing this today. <sighs> Damn, they really want to talk to you. I just want three clear messages. Let 
Nine of Air in your recent past. What I like about this deck though is that it's really positive and instead of swords, it's just the element air. And here you see that you're actually juggling your thoughts and they're your friends. So it's not your typical nine of swords card. Ooh, they're so excited, but it's this one. Six, ooh, I'm excited. Six of fire in your present moment. You're traveling. It might not be clear yet to you what that uh, main passion is. I'm just gonna take these. You get four cards. You get four cards. Focus your energy on patience. That's what they want you to do. It's the time in your heart. It's, you have to be patient for yourself, not for anybody else. You're, you're thinking about this in ways that it's like unclear because you also care about other people. But do it for yourself. Be guided in your journey by that passion. Don't let anyone else's passion sway your path. Ace of water. You, it's like you know how to do so many things. It's just figuring out which one really fulfills you right now. And you don't even have to think about it. So you're escaping from the nine of air energy. You've been thinking about this for enough time. You don't need to think about it. Let your thoughts just be thoughts. She's so calm. Look at her face. She's so calm and her thoughts are her friends. I feel like you could channel that same energy. And guess what? All of your thoughts, there's going to be a process of narrowing down. Short listing the things that are really important to you. It's going to take time. And tell yourself that's okay because it's important to you. Because underneath everything, it's your ace of water. This is what's going to fulfill you. You're starting to be fulfilled by the process itself. As time goes by, you're only going to feel more fulfilled as you figure out what is this one cup that you could pick up now that is right for you at this moment. That's why they're saying, be patient. You're going to get to do everything that you want to do with the six of fire. It's like, I'm seeing like a carousel, you know, with like the horses rotating. Here you have the balloons on fire. They're just taking turns coming into the limelight and you don't have to be afraid that you're not going to be able to do all of it because what are you going to do when you're so good at many things? You can't do everything at once. Multitasking is not real. So pick what you want to spend your time now doing, how you want to invest your time and energy, and be gentle with yourself as you pick it. Use your heart to pick it. Look, the time in your heart, time is your friend. You'll figure it out. It is such strong forces, ace of water and patience, as you see all of them together. Wouldn't you want to give that to yourself? This is a gift you could give to yourself. If you love so many things, then do them. Just take them, take it slow so that you get to enjoy it because it's about you enjoying this, nobody else. It's about you enjoying this. Take that one cup and take your sweet ass time to enjoy it. Ace of water. Okay. I'm rushing real hard and it's not good. Maybe that's the key. And when you rush, if you know you're rushing, you know that your thoughts are racing too. Treat them as friends. Like, I could share this about myself. I can totally see this being me. 
and when I'm in this energy of like nine of swords and I want to do everything that I think of because I'm trying to chase the thing that fulfills me but sometimes having a hundred ideas doesn't necessarily mean that all of them are good and that thought frees me not because I look down upon my own thoughts that oh um i should have done this I, sh I should do that i should create this blah, blah 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 not that they aren't good ideas but if they are exactly what fulfills me if they are important enough i trust that i will get to it i trust that i will do it in the right time i feel that for you too tarot reading on my keyboard <laughs> Let's look for your affirmations. I want to look at the Ace of Water first. Because I think that is the key as well. How? Okay. Plenty. Plenty of energy. 7% left. Plus the mosquitoes are coming out. So we, we are on perfect timing. Ace of Water, unconditional love, overflowing abundance and fertility of love. I am filled with love from spirit and joyously let it flow to others where it fertilizes the seeds of co-creation. Love gives me hope, shining brilliant light on all the possibilities available to me. I am optimistic about bringing dreams into being. Spirit always informs me and guides me, allowing me to illuminate the darkest of places. You're not even afraid of being in the dark because like you have so many sources of things that spark your joy and if even if you're not as focused as you want to be i think i feel like there is a sense of judgment that you could release from yourself whether it's judging yourself that i'm not being as productive as i want to be not creative as i want to be not as skillful as I want to be. So it's two things. I'm not good enough. The things I do aren't good enough. That could be holding you back. That could be holding back your energy too. Not only are you struggling to... I'm. Uh, this is the energy I'm getting. Not only are you struggling to pick things to do. You're also at the same time getting tangled in the loop in your mental loop that it's not just me um it's also that i can't pick <laughs> so it's like you're swimming in the water of your own thoughts and not being able to grab one thing for you to celebrate oh that's what you need to do right now it doesn't have to be a big thing too just do anything to get your energy moving forward for you to create because you want to be in that state so bad your inner being loves to create that's what gives you joy it's creation it's not even you it's not even what you put out in the 3d world it's just just let it flow just turn on the tap water there's so much waiting behind the scenes waiting for you to just sit down and do what is most natural to you. Creation is my true joy, be it cooking, drawing, or anything. So celebrate every time you're doing something that nourishes your inner being. You know this. You're so good at it. Your thoughts can be your friend. If anything, they're telling you what you don't want to get you started on the process of moving towards that that one thing be the seahorse you know just pick up one thing that is shining and like uh catching your eye it could be anything and next thing you know you're gonna start it's gonna snowball you know how your creative mind works i like for me like i can get stuck in the process of crystallizing my idea and i can spend <laughs> years <laughs> before i do something um maybe that's not the problem that you have but it's just that if you decide 
to with the elements here you're moving from your mental space so your thoughts from air and it's already at a nine so you're gonna be at a ten and the cycle's gonna end you're gonna have clarity because you've spent enough time thinking about <laughs> all the things holding you back how things aren't going right but that has to end sometime everything comes to an end your thought processes also end and when you end you're going straight to fire wands right six of wands in traditional tarot six of wands is usually carrying carrying that fire carrying that thing that drives you and you're surrounded by other people right but you don't give a shit it's, it's just you doing your own thing <laughs> seahorsey is real tough to deal with well congratulations you're at the end of the cycle and you know this if you know you know tarot right it always rotates one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you're at a nine maybe spend like another hour suffering in your own thoughts like whatever your mind wants to be anxious about whatever thoughts is limiting yourself just just vomit it out what's your deepest fears what are the things still holding you back from creating from your joy because there are so many thoughts suffering to rejoice pain if your mind wants to suffer let it do its thing the most painful part about having so many thoughts is not wanting to have so many thoughts but that's just how the mind works if you don't want to have many thoughts do a meditation then you're going to understand that out of nine thoughts that you have sometimes you can't even take one to like to prove that it's useful to you in your real life your thoughts are just like mosquitoes feasting on my legs right now <laughs> so if you master your thoughts miramosa if you master your thoughts if you befriend them and you give yourself time in the process figure out what is the best way for you to flow to get in your creative mode and just do it because you're gonna be so damn happy thank you for the reading thank you thank you for redeeming and pushing me to do this we're co-creating together right i didn't think i was gonna stream this today or do tarot but i had a lot of other thoughts that were holding me back conarch this was also you yesterday maybe you were thinking there were so many things that you could come up with that was stopping you from choosing your own passion. You can see me in there. Can you? No, no, no. It's um. If you if you go to. <laughs> My sister is here. Looking. Our our energy bringing the creation, and it's a co-creative process. I'm doing my own thing. You drop by and you push me to do the thing that actually fulfills me also. And all I had to do was wait. To. For this moment to just figure itself out i didn't have to plan it because i was trying to plan so much how am i gonna stream my music oh i have to have professional audio quality and that shit scares me and i'm just like fuck it i wanna i was more excited about picking the plants that are gonna be here i want to know about the six of fire <laughs> Six of fire, stepping into the limelight, being an enlightened influencer. I know you're not doing this just for you. Maybe there's other people looking to you for that. Maybe it's us, it's you and me exchanging this and inspiring each other, pushing each other through this, through streaming. And then you're gonna make awesome art and, and please show it off. Can you do one thing? Maybe you can draw something uh, with the goal of creating a shitty drawing for me as a gift Just do a shitty drawing See what happens 
I generously model my transformation so that others might be inspired. I put my light atop a hill so it can shine forth, helping others to find their way. I remain aware of shadows and people who have trouble basking in the warm light of higher awareness. I bless them but do not dim my own beacon. It's a time to renew my trust that I am contributing to the highest good of all in my own unique way. When you unlock this for yourself, when you do move forward into the mode of creation, you're going to inspire one, yourself. You're going to realize, oh shit, it could have been so easy. I just had to sit down and like just do it. There is no try, just do. That's what my sister told me the other day and it was it was very freeing for me to think about it that way. As a gift, it'll be better because I do better if it's for others. That's the message I got from reading The Six of Fire. You might be worried about having to do things well for other people. They want you to do it for yourself right now. That light, like that beacon, the light of higher awareness and not dimming your own beacon. You are the one who needs it the most right now. Because the past versions of yourself are sick and tired of being here. <laughs> of not creating. Show them. Show them how it's done. Show them how you can be. Maybe you're attached to an old form a flow of process of planning practicing but you can release it all now all now and be surprised by a new way of creating that aligns with who you are today maybe you don't need to prepare maybe you don't need to try What's patience though? Patience, moderation. This card reminds me that patience will bring me into recognition of and alignment to my purpose. All my needs are met even though I may not see it yet in the outer visible world. The angels are looking out for me. Moderation in all things is required right now. If you are addicted to your own toxic thoughts, stop it. They're not serving you. Just let them fly away. Just go like, shoo shoo. I don't need you. Thank you for being here, but I don't need you. Conarch. So now I have a six man roster. So even if I get busy or can't play a match, other, other people can play and I still can play other matches of the tournament. See? There's, we're not alone, you guys. If you want to figure out your stuff, like there are people who are within your circle who can support you. So if, if you're stuck in something like this, Conark, if you're stuck in a process before decision making, know that whatever you choose to do, other people who love and care for you and want the best for you, i.e. your dad, are going to be supportive. How about that? Work your magic, Miramosa. Underneath the deck, your energy already shifted into High Priestess. If you need to go into an incubation mode for, crea uh, for creating something, do it. It's a mystery. You're about to find out how to best navigate your own creative ocean because you have so many ideas thank you for doing a reading i think my phone's gonna run out of battery and i'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes so i'll see you all later in my genshin stream thank you for being here this was a very beautiful surprise for myself thank you for the reading once again you're welcome thank you for trusting me and thank yourself for doing this because you're the one releasing yourself from the cycle of ooh, the cycle of being tormented by your own thoughts and and redeeming the tarot reading for yourself even though i know you can do it but sometimes it just takes detaching from yourself just to get the higher picture
And we can do that for each other all the time. Maybe, maybe you can do me a uh, tarot reading when I get stuck. It happens all the time. It's natural. All right. Have a good uh, rest of your time. I'm going to go eat something. I had one piece of fruit. It's so weird. Like, I'm just in a mode of not being hungry because this is so fulfilling. Thank you for joining my first music stream. Ah, and tarot, oh my goodness. It's like, I don't have to plan shit anymore. You guys help me out, you guys inspire me. So thank you for that. Sending all my love to you. <laughs>